the thing with color, it is the single most transformative thing that you can do to any space. I just painted a tiny part of an alcove in a dark color, loved it, and then that was the journey. I mean, I saw it and just the whole house immediately went dark after that tiny little alcove. The reason I'm so passionate about dot colors is because they wrap you in this squishy blanket and you feel really cocooned and snug. So in order to get that feeling of snugness, I paint everything out, radiator skirting, ceilings, floorboards. So it all kind of just knocks back and goes away. And then I introduce lots of texture and pattern. And that's kind of my signature look. It's quite masculine, but it's got a little bit of a feminine edge. For me, playing around with scale is huge. I put things that are too big on things that are too small. And if you think of it a bit like an exclamation mark, it suddenly gives a room a real punch. So you wouldn't want to do it all over your space. You just want to do it in a corner, one or two things, and it just looks really magical. I also really play around with mirrors because they add depth, expand horizons, and look really beautiful. So I'm constantly pulling your eye in a lots of different directions with reflection, with shimmer. So it just looks really cocooning and magical. It sounds super weird, but you want to create as much friction as you can in a room. And by that I mean, you don't want every surface to be the same. Because if everything was really smooth and shiny, or if everything was really slubby and rough, it feels really one dimensional. The thing about curtains is they're a major finishing touch. They really elongate your window, so they take your eye up so much higher. When you accent with a blind and a curtain, it just looks the biz. My big message is to have confidence and take risks because once you experiment, it becomes incredibly addictive. It's just about having that dose of confidence to leap into the dark side.